All right, everyone. A very warm welcome from everyone at Google. Good afternoon to everyone who's watching from India, and good evening, good morning to people who are watching from other parts of the world. Today we have a really, really special guest with us on Talks at Google. Uh, this is someone who is actually one of India's most preeminent social entrepreneurs. Um, someone who has actually struck a huge blow for uh, for the conversation around menstrual health among women, especially in rural India, and he's made a huge amount of impact there. He someone who's actually also contributed in a big way to the livelihoods of women in rural India. He's been named by Time Magazine as one of the 100 most influential people of all time, and uh, his impact really goes beyond uh, his own state or where he was born to large parts of India and slowly across the world as well. So we're very very happy to have with here us today, uh, Mr. Arunachalam Muruganantham. Uh, here he is. Very warm welcome to everyone at Google, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. And we would love to hear about your story and uh, uncover some aspects of your success. So, sir, let's start actually at uh, uh, from the early stages of your life. So, most of the people on the call here today are somebody are people who have had the privilege of getting a very structured education by going to school, college, studying what they wanted to excel in, and then getting to work in a certain field. However, your journey has been very different because you, uh, your family was economically disadvantaged. You did not have the opportunity to go to school. So I just want to understand from you, can you talk to us about those early years and how you educated yourself and how by taking on different kinds of jobs and experiences, you taught yourself and to grow and uh, to learn a lot more? So I said so many talks. I'm a son of a handloom weaver. Then my father died in a road accident. Then my mother took the responsibility of taking care of my family. But she suddenly, from a housewife, she became a caretaker of the family. She don't know what to do. So she joined in a nearby farm for the wages of 15 rupees per day. I think. So out of it, she is trying to make me as a police officer. And I'm having two sisters, one sister to a lawyer or assistant to a doctor. So why? Because my mother used to see a lot of uh, movies in uh, during talkies. It's a Thatcher theater in villages. I don't know how many people Google you saw that uh, such type of theaters. Uh, so where, you know, the heroines will do the magics on the screen. So what my mom is trying, what the, the heroines, you know, Hema Malnes and Vaidans is what they're doing in the screen. She so want to make it as a practical life. So being a small boy, I'm studying around uh, no seventh standard. Actually, it's only possible by Hema Malnes and Vajitis on the screen, not by my mother. That's why one day I decided and I took an important decision under the neem tree. So Buddha is a different tree. He sat down once uh, while he's getting in a, you know, some insight. But I, accompanied by a shepherd boy, I sit under the neem tree, then I decide from tomorrow I am not going to school. That is a very important day in my life. So that's what many times, you know, after doing this, you know, uh, class and all, uh, even that uh, Western magazine, you know, local magazine, they will ask Murko, what is the important turning point in your life after the inventing the machine or after getting married with the Santi or after getting that award from president? Then I said, no, no, the day I took the decision from tomorrow I'm not going to school is the real turning point in my life. That is really true. I'm telling, I'm just sharing uh, across the crowd. The moment I did school, my mom thought, so I become an obvious to this uh, classroom something, but really I want to help my mother. That's why I stopped going to school. I joined in a nearby workshop as a helper. Not, you know, like straight away an internship uh, in Google coming, they're going to the data bank, they're accessing to all important departments, not like that. Even a small workshop, to understand you, I'm telling intern, but a helper means they won't allow in the main uh, area of working, you know, building or assembling somewhere. The, my first job is fetching BDs and tea for the seniors. That is my first job I took. So what I want to say is no matter the moment you are in the, in the place, in the Google compound, a particular industry, 
no matter what the position you are taking to enter into the campus to learn many people are worrying about their designation it is a foolishness so any cadre you can enter into I, i enter as a helper to fetch tea and bds to the seniors in spite i learned the techniques of welding the engineering the very core engineering not only studying about walls and walls in books very first i can touch the wall i can touch the arc of the welding i can adjust the voltage so this way i become a practical engineer later that helps me a lot so what i did is reverse you everyone you studied on the books then you come to the keyboard you are trying to code everything but in my life directly i went to that i started coding like that so this what happened in my life so what i want to say you know it is very importantly i connected with nature from my day one so that's what i born and i brought up as a out of box personality so you cannot decide on me what murga will think after telling it so if a, a, a group of person coming out from harvard or oxford or mit you know the thinking pattern will be almost uniform i was there in many universities from iim ab cd to efgd and iit you know the thinking pattern is uniform if, if the university hatched hatched some group but here i hatched by the nature no one can predict what i am going to decide what i am thinking what i am going to design so for example i for to explain i am saying if you are an automobile engineer you will study from the day one in your books at any point of time don't touch the carburetor so don't touch you know internal combustion engine so this way how you are going to eliminate the fuel in that you know internal combustion engine then suddenly you will switch over from internal combustion engines to you make a lot of noise and ev it is a stupidness happening it is not like you know giving up the internal combustion engines to uh, ev is not a solution again there is a pollution on acid these that so if i am there i will try to improve or eliminate that internal combustion to different engine or using the aviation or something the sun power so that what is a creation not giving incremental battery is there already in the automobile who are you to make an ev even a school boy can do that innovation you know something uh, creating new is is should be like a breakthrough how a steam engine is happen how electricity is happen how you know everything you know in 16th and 17th century the innovation happen is breakthrough nobody ever thought of it before that is called innovation what is happening now is nickel why because you are away from nature if you are connected with nature even the people those who are coding in google you need a connecting with the universal nature then and you can create a correct core for a well being of human being so that what i will say so the my childhood is like you know from nature climbing the trees seeing the butterfly so everything i am questioning 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 i am getting answer from the universe not from the stupid textbooks even today i am not reading any books i am very well i will interact with sayos uh, or another people in so i want to read personalities in spite of books so this way i learned technology knowledge from human beings brain to brain not paper to brain so this is the person what you are seeing in front of your screen the person learn everything from brain to brain not paper to brain that's what i want to say wonderful sir i think it's a wonderful insight into how learning does not have to be restricted to textbooks or through structure it can actually come from nature as well and coming from learning from each other and from brain to brain i think the inspiration as we've heard so much about you know the how you got the inspiration to create the machine which can build very very low cost sanitary pads that inspiration also came from your spouse so can you tell us a little bit about how uh, you observed your spouse struggling with uh, being you know remaining safe when it came to her menstrual health and how that inspired you to come up with this innovation do you share a little bit about that part of your journey so this all happened you know the, i said is the question also relevant so i became a school dropout then i joined as work workshop helper then i became a welder so later you know i started a small workshop then i became a malik of the small workshop the moment you are having age around 25 26 you are having a small business on your own what is next even after seeing many men they are suffering it is very difficult to manage 
in spite of knowing everything i also did the same mistake one day i got married that too it is a arranged marriage so the moment it is an arranged marriage you know there is no matter it is an arranged marriage or love marriage moment you are newly married your important job is no matter your president or a ceo of a company if you are newly married guy your important job is impressing your new partner like something you know like sarukh or something so impressing each other that is a uh, maybe 30 days 90 days somebody lucky guys it will extend to 6 month one year so now it is sync to 30 days i i thought <laughs> many people are complaining <laughs> so it is sync to weeks so luckily i got you know year time of you know impressing each other to impress my new partner i used to give 5 rupees plastic pendant a 10 rupees glass bangles not giving in direct i used to gift wrap and there is a color ribbon then i say close your eyes shanti my spouse name is shanti so turn left turn right this way i am giving a small uh, value addition for my small gift because i am not a short con to give every time a diamond pendant so this what happened so like that one day i saw she is carrying behind something you know uh, the purpose is to hide me then i thought she is playing with me then i ran away behind her i saw what she is hiding is a Um, blood stain a rag cloth even i don't use the cloth to anything so it's unimaginable while i'm talking you know the, the the scene is coming even after 25 years then i realized what she is carrying because i told on my first answer you know question answer i born with the two sisters younger sister so in my adolescent period i saw the same blood stain cloth in the back out of my home it is a open toilet made of thatch no roof no door i don't know how many you people you can understand what i'm talking a thatched a toilet without a, a door or roof where my sister used to hide the blood stain cloth here and there in the thatched walls after a little bit time i'm seeing the same with my wife and then i'm having a gloomy idea i don't know where they are using what is happening in their body it is true then simply asking something i understood something they are managing with the unhygiene method then i said why you are adopting the unhygiene method please note even i don't know the period menstruation this that some typical name in local language is that maybe is duram something they will say in tamil that means distance that means they will keep distance from the home or from the kitchen from the temple like that they put a catchy word they call duram agadal we take duram duram means distance this is a local that's only the word i know Uh, menstruation you know period uh, everything i know later then i asked why you are adopting this anagen method there is some product not the point even i told the term called sanitary pad then she replied i also know about that but myself your sister all over the family start using that uh, product we have to cut our family milk budget supply then i get shocked what is the connection between using a product and not buying milk for family then i understood it's a matter of affordability then you know on a particular day i am having only one idea why not offer a sanitary pad packet as a gift to my new wife to impress that's all see i don't want to lie in front of google team because many people they achieved a little thing you know if you ask any question murga sir you do this from my mother womb i want to do something for society my role model is mother teresa or gandhi i will no i don't want to lie on a particular day on this afternoon i am seeing a rag cloth with my wife pan instantly i got an idea i got an again a sense why not offer a sanitary pad packet as a gift no husband ever did for centuries you know then i got an idea but where i can go and get the sanitary pad packet in my village nobody is there i need to go to the medical shop even today in 2020 if you want all the brands of the particular sanitary pad you have to go to the drug store then i took my cycle a ride for 14 kilometers from everlays i end up in a medical store medical store shop keeper asking what brand you want who knows brand and all i just point out the packet inside the glass showcase what the shop keeper he, he did he took the packet he never hand over me like other products he placed a old newspaper he wrapped it he looks left and right he hand over me like a smuggled product he really is become you know why he is doing like this because in village i never was for condom in village suppose you want to buy condom we always go in the night after 9 o'clock after full dark only in amavasya days nobody uh, seeing us 
uh, we will go to the shop we will stand in front of the shop if nobody in the shop you know in front we will jump into the we will buy the banana so like that this guy is giving sanitary pad with wrapping and all that's make us curious then i took the pack in my home the very first time i am opening the packet i am taking out sanitary pad an 8 inch length white color substance like a bandage so you note know the point here i already told i am a son of a handloom weaver that's what i am having a connection with cotton on and all see i am talking about domain knowledge many younger generation they are greeting like anything they want to be a next bill gate they want to become a next jeff bezos they want to own the google everything without having a domain knowledge is very very important you cannot hire everything something you want to greet you want to achieve something your goal should be relevant to with your domain knowledge so you don't think you are not an ambani or gates to hire anything that manage with uh, without domain knowledge like that from the stage one like racket thing removing the first set of booster you need domain knowledge so that's what i am having cotton yarn knowledge the object i took for the packet pad my mind is saying 10 gram weight per pad if the white substance inside that pad if it is a cotton 10 gram cotton raw material cost in 1998 is 10 pi but i bought the pad per pad 10 rupees that's what i even illiterate you can call me in the crude language or uneducated in spite i i got a hunch oh my god these big companies are making you know 10 paise raw material they selling for 10 rupees as yes, sir capital you can think how many x in between x factor <laughs> that's what i said <laughs> why not to attempt to make a affordable pad more worth my buy you see everywhere i am putting a logic it's not a, you know i touch this then a, a guinea buda is coming then i ask buda give a palace i give a lombardian car not like that everywhere there is a meaning there is a logic there is strength there is maths there is engineering that is why muruga is speaking in google now so many people are thinking they want a magic wand if they do like that the coding should happen so all the bugs to go remove from the software it never happen you have to die then i thought is very simple you know if anyone you can buy sanitary pad na an amount of cotton is pressed into cake sir then wrapping with the white cloth then i thought is a simple thing simple thing the next day i went to the textile mill you know in bangalore we have around 432 textile mills in our city then i right. bought a cotton from the mill then i cut it to rectangle i wrapped with the viscose cloth in handcuffs and collar to make mm. sure there is a cloth so i wrapped it i made a similar napkin what i bought from the shop in two days but now the problem is i need to check with the customer a field test or something you say where i need it like it's what we would call a prototype right you built yeah. a prototype in two days a prototype yeah. or something you are a clean test whatever you can ask this is the time only now i am talking you need a women volunteer where you can get in india only swami ji's guru ji's are surrounded by hundreds of women this murugananda never got a single woman volunteer the only available choice are with my wife then again i said earlier i don't know nothing about period menstruation nothing i have a gloomy idea of you know in my small village there is a goddess temple women used to assemble in front of goddess temple only few will enter rest they will outside on every day that's what i thought women are getting menstruation friday friday you see in google everybody is a brilliant employee that's what the mindset so even i thought i am a clever boy i decide you see women are assemble in front of friday in front of friday friday muruga is find out ah oh, every woman are getting menstruation friday that's what i select a good friday to hand over my napkin which i made to my wife on fine uh, friday afternoon i'm handovering as you should know close or i santi in a gift wrap i packed two napkin what i made the moment santi opened her eyes she shocked oh my god you are entering into this research now then i said like giving a chocolate eat it and give the feedback like that you sit and give the feedback she laughed then i said no no it is not possible you have to wait some time then i said today is friday oh my god this is not happening every friday you have to wait for a month then only i understand it is happening once in a month in a women body i not feel you know sai or i never feel bad to tell inside 
in front of uh, people, you know. Why? Because many boys, they are born as a boy, then they are becoming man, then they are becoming father, then they are becoming grandfather, great-grandfather, then they are dying without knowing what is happening the partner's body. I luckily came to know everything in my early marriage days. Then I forgot about the noon to napkin, what I made and hand out to my wife. Then three weeks gone, you know, as you should know, the, the moment you're entering into Google campus, you will forget everything. That's what, you know, job is always like a meditation. So people, those who are working at, from home, now you realize what the beautiful is the campus and going and working there in Google campus. Now only everyone know the value of the campus after working from home for months. Now every person definitely, you will understand what is the beautiful the Google campus have. Many people are thinking, no, I'm going and stressing. Now work from home, you work without stress. <laughs> you will 100% decide no. That is a campus, you know. I was there in Bangalore, Google campus. I love. Somebody told Murga, there is a person, he never left the campus for a year. Somebody is inside the campus for a year. That's I said, <laughs> it's possible. If I'm getting a chance, I will be inside the factory for even the whole life somewhere. <laughs> then, you know, after three weeks, I think, I, even I forgot what a napkin gave to my wife. Then on a particular day, I'm getting a feed my napkin, you know. Santi is mm -hmm. giving a feedback. It is very bad, worst, you know, like, you know, it is very nasty. What napkin you gave it to me, I'm going back to my rack cloth using method. So it is a, please, any customer is giving a cutthroat, open, useless, some type of feedback to you, please give a full value to him. He is giving a, you know, insight of your experience and work. If they are dodging, no, no, I don't want to say it is bad. It is okay, you find the efforts, you know, they are making you more lazy. Somebody is coming, what right. man, Gautam, you did, it is useless. You really, you give value to the guy, they are kindling your knowledge, they are giving something like that. My wife said, it is very nasty going back. That makes me, you know, to think, I thought it is very easy. Taking a quarter of napkin and the guy making it a rectangle, it is finished napkin. Well, then I realized it was something, it's serious thing I entered. It's not like something, putting some um, triangles inside the coding is totally different. Then the real research started. I am trying with different milk cotton, making napkins, and over into Santi, waiting for a month period. It's a time-taking process. I need more women volunteer. Then I catch my younger sisters. You know what the topic I'm talking today? The moment I got a... Uh, request from Google, I said, uh, please, you know who I am. I will talk about menstruation. So Google is totally different. You are something you are sending balloon. You are trying to make the whole world uh, into the Wi-Fi zone. I am talking about something, a small area like menstruation, something is. No, no, you can't. Then, you know, the topic which I am talking is never talk about centuries. It is the biggest taboo topic in the you know, in the in the world or universe, even in Mars, don't take it. No, only in India. Even developed nation like America, German, Japan, everywhere, there it is a taboo subject. So such a subject, unknowingly, I took. I am trying to make this. I am trying to talk this uh, uh, topic ever talked by a man to a woman. Even being a sister and wife, they are getting frustrated. They want me. You are going down to do this in the family, then we will tell to your mother. Then my mother knows me, it's become a bigger problem. That's what they thought I dropped the research. Because I never talked about that with the wife or such after they are telling me. But I don't want to drop the research because it's become an ego problem for me because I'm working with iron. As somebody, you know, in Google, they will work for a big project with bigger company with billion dollars. Then they work for a medium sized company. There is a big challenge, then they will think, even I work for that company, rock flower company, this. No, not like that. See, even I'm a welder, I'm a mechanic, I'm dealing with iron and rods, big thing. A cotton matter makes me fail. There is a chance. You have to admit yourself. That's what right. it's become ego. I'm working with iron, a simple cotton matter making me fail. That's what I'm trying, trying, trying. You know, only problem, I need a woman volunteer. Then I got a hunch. If you go with the ordinary women or girls, they may Maybe they will sign, they will get in the station. Why not try with the medical college girls? Hmm. Not hmm. because of beauties or angels. They are future doctors. Maybe they will uh, talk openly. That's why from my workshop, it is 46 kilometers away, that medical college. 
somehow i try to get some women volunteer i am trying to give my napkin and trying to get the feedback the same what is happening with my family with my wife and uneducated sister the same yeah. thing happening with the first year second year future doctor girls too that's why i decide one day here at i am not going to go give the total back or something i am trying to do my own like that i am not going to try with uh, women or something why not try napkin myself it became history the first man wore sand repair if you type on google so i am very well connected with google you know every day there are thousands of people they are searching the moment i put aru it will automatically come arna samurvanatham arna samurvanatham network or is arna samurvanatham is bill gates you know i don't know why people are searching like this people are interested to know my network you know then there there is a padman movie there is a uh, some uh, i'll come later maybe somebody last question now the girls you know now i'm trying to use sand repair myself i can wear a sand repair but where can i go for uterus that's what i made a artificial uterus in a rubber bladder i filled mm-hmm. animal blood in it i tied on my hip there is a tube connection from the bladder to the napkin which i'm wearing while i'm walking mm-hmm. and cycling i made a small press a dosage of the blood will go there <clears throat> so the whole story never happened in las vegas or in los angeles it is happening in a papuna kudur an orthodox village in down south of tamil nadu mm-hmm. that's what there is a biggest problem for me because there is a blood stain on my clothes anyone come near the foul smell of the goat blood but mm-hmm. after using that for 2 3 weeks i feel it is unnatural but out of it i understand maybe few girls uh, maybe they are listening this after using 3 weeks the wet napkins on my underwear i understood one secret <clears throat> the strongest creature created by god not a lion not a tiger not an elephant the women any men you are hearing what i am saying having any doubt use wet sand prepared in your underwear send us your feedback to muruganandam_yahoo.com even today i am getting a feedback from you know i am dennis from denmark puru i got a heavier cold on fourth day after using the wet napkin in my underwear i got a severe cold because women anatomy is stronger than men Luckily, they forget we are dominating the world. <clears throat> But even after using napkin myself, I feel it is unnatural. Hmm. But from the day one of the research, months going, years going, why? Because the domain I entered for research, it is meant for multinational companies from Europe and US. If I even I can say in Procter and Gamble like Johnson and Johnson, so this is the people they will doing the product their domain. you know and the school robot and uneducated is entering into the domain is trying to crack this because the darwin secord no one know outside what's the metal they are using how they are using what's the blue it is the darwin secord from the second world war it is the field is dominated or monopolized by only transnational in corporation with multiple billion dollar so that's why from day one even years are going i'm i'm struggling with understand the raw material i tried with all cotton available in the world but i am not getting a correct feedback from the girls it is perfect because i am right. the world first online company delivering on the doorstep sand repair 27 years ago before jeff bezos <clears throat> that's what even the napkin is good or not they are using it but i know you know <clears throat> sometime you are getting feedback from the customer even they are saying yes good there is an incomfort on their good on their work yes you will find you last sir anything you tell no no the only one time that under time i'm paying some is saying for not for something you can dig it because mm. few customer they will feel the decency even though they are feeling decency you have to catch they are not 100% satisfied so this way yeah. i got the girls are not satisfied otherwise i can feel because the girls are saying good but on the good i found some not good being mm. a beautiful uh, executive of google even the customer says good if you are a real good knowledgeable person you need not good you find a not good sound inside the good that's what i have found i'm going on struggling trying to perfect my product luckily i tried even i don't know the term called co creating the product now i'm lecturing in even in harvard and oxford about co creation but without knowing the co creation because i told i am a natural guy whatever i did from day one it is a co creation 
even this body is co created everything is co creation don't say i did it i did don't use well that i even nobody around me i said we so who are actually you mentioned we uh, somebody is this he and he even i saw so yes he he everything i okay. i really i i say not using i i did i thought i decided like sure. so i want to ask you <coughs> yeah yeah uh, basically you talk about you know you spoke about stigma which is that in india even when it comes to talking about fam- with family members about something so important as menstrual health people tend to feel a little hesitant etc and definitely at a larger society level people feel very hesitant i just want to understand that you know when you were facing stigma and when people were criticizing you for you know how can you being a man wear a sanitary napkin etc what was your approach to it did you was your approach that forget it i'm going to ignore it i don't care what other people say or did you uh, say that no i will educate them as to why this is important and why there is a need to have a conversation about it what was your approach in your thinking when it came to tackling the stigma this is very difficult because first of all something you are trying to do good even in your camp small campus hmm. nobody ever attempt they will think why this guy is trying to do good thing what is something a vested interest in it to just correct uh, no be maybe is a, a psycho to talk about a personal thing with a girl or woman that's what mm-hmm. the world something you come forward to create a new or a breakthrough or out of box or you are the first you are trying then you have to face all the heat and everything because no one will be pay the red carpet so that too it is a taboo subject now first they will ask why he is coming forward who is he to talk with my daughter or no one will allow even the girl itself never they won't it is very very difficult even today mm-hmm. many people are thinking i became a celebrity is become a cake mm-hmm. work not like that even one area in google in you know, no webinars i'm talking next day i'm going to the deep packet of village in india it's a day one for me it's a plus point also for me that's what i told with uh, paul coleman i met see of the unilever in london mm-hmm. then we hug each other i said see paul man where i'm working you are you are coming there no one you are a paul goldman now your company your png that's a beautiful area no one know who is murga no one know who is png or palman that's a beautiful arena for both to fight each other correct not yeah. on this area so like that it is a day one for us it is good then i come to the point that i supplied that napkin then i tried now sanitary pad myself even though i am not convinced then one day i decide why not collect the used nap from the girls to find practically what is happened to my napkin and company napkin see the practical sometimes your mm. learnings your experience is not working it is continuously you are struggling go practical then the practical god will solve everything so don't go on dig on a paper paper you know something go practical so this what i tried to collect the used napkin but who will give 24 mm. years ago even the medical college girls while i'm talking about collecting back used napkin the girls ran away from me they thought i became a psycho then i convinced say you anyway after using the sand prepared you are going to throw that in the campus in the hospital mm-hmm. instead of that i am going to put the bin here a, a, a tin drum put down the drum if ten girls putting used napkin on the drum what is how muruga will know which napkin used which girl what is the problem with you then they agree see earlier i supplied the napkin then i became a trash collector i am collecting generator i collect the first used napkin in bin as a treasure those days i started using a muffer tvs 50 then i took all the used napkin to my home see the practical test why is it is a darwinsy code you cannot decode in, in between i am also become a, i thought myself a clever man i bought some company pads i opened it take the material sent to the lab iit bisbalani you know, chitra everywhere i am driving uh, riding a 4000 worth of a muffet but i paid 20 years ago for every test 5500 6000 i can got 2 cent land now it become 50 lakhs but after testing you know they will send after 15 days you know the test report inside the, uh, the material you gave we found is a cotton from one self substance what i am trying all cotton i am not getting result that's mm-hmm. why it makes me to collect back the used napkin from the girls i spread right. all the used napkin on the back of my home i closed my uh, uh, nose with a handkerchief now everybody is closing the nose see after 20 years so uh, 
with a four ball of uh, use neck of 20 girls you just image uh, with the whole night the smell will go off and next day sunday 7 o'clock in the morning i am very seriously researching what to my napkin and company napkin i never realized my mother is coming back she thought sun is cleaning chicken for sunday but the moment come the saw the substance she nothing she told she told like that somebody did on my son he became totally mad she left everything on from home taking all belongings before that my wife also left because while i'm using the medical cards she suspect i'm having a ill uh, illicit relationship or something roaming with the girls she left um, my mother is with me i no problem with the food now mother also left the mother moment mother left the whole village they come out the story the bad spirit entering into my body that's what i'm becoming becoming drug law in the evening drinking girls blood vampire that's what the village you know cough punjab they want to take out the bad spirit from my body by hanging me upside down in a holy tree one of my friend told murga this is the cough punjab they decided tomorrow friday maybe they will do this that's what i ran away from my home um, by midnight i stayed in my nearby city in the mansion so within this two and a half year time i found the secret of the raw material so the cotton i tried is from seed plant and you know cotton with that cotton you can make yarn and cloth you cannot use in hand prepared because the ordinary cotton properties it will absorb liquid with little hesitation even at absorbance if the women close their legs or if you make small press the absorbed liquid will leak out the simple reason my napkin is fully not accepted by girl or woman the same time what the multinational companies are using inside the pad is cotton not from the plant it is derived from the bark of a tree especially from pine tree even knowing that to process the material you need a multi million dollar machine i never give up i never bother in between i worked in a professor home i clean floor clean toilet everything you, you know for what to send mails with some companies to something i want to know what is it uh, how to send mail some, something draft a letter you yeah, often ask what is uh, you are trying for this you know something you are trying new you are trying to do something you know creative you know, some upliftment of source, anything from the day one people try to drag you to down because they are escaping you are surfing from the well like a frog so everybody i don't know what is the problem other people they will continuously will disgrace they want to piece of you they brought down even the other professor also every day they, he will disgrace me why you are so what was your process sir in terms of how did you manage to insulate yourself from all this negativity and just stay on your track like can you help us understand uh, how you spoke to yourself and how you mentally conditioned yourself to face this especially people look for the answer you know like spiritual stay calm and be inside not i don't know how going to inside so I, again i said take it because i love science and mathematics no one can bluff yeah. if you are see mm. back you can see with the peak of murga is there the left yeah. there is god is there so because my wife saying i won't interrupt it's fine but mm. i believe i i teach my daughter please daughter you see from your age believe in science and math no one can bluff yeah. you because right. two plus two in india it is four us it is four in california everywhere no one can but the other thing you know they will be this um, i am saying go inside so <laughs> there is a chance you know manipulation of many things i, I don't want to right. say it is wrong uh, nothing is there something uh, uh, you know a growing personality what i am saying it is okay if plus 50 plus 60 you die but don't make this in 25 years or 20 years something you are trying to innovate or something where you have to sure. depend with technical engineering math that's what something i am trying on my doctor engineering and you know technical that's what i no one able to discourage me <clears throat> because even i failed for 999 times there is a hope tomorrow i will change the angle of the plate 1 degree again angle it may work well if i change right. the material from en36 to hcac it may work i can go to the different pitch of the thread so this way no one can manipulate and you know very importantly every body or person having both encouragement and discouragement you know buttons to activate but yeah. unlikely you know the majority of the personality they will like discouragement to become sorrow 
you know, the moment they become sorrow, they will keep on sorrow for being. They will enjoy it. Yeah. They will have a party even to, to celebrate their sorrow. They will celebrate party too. But here, I am also having discouragement and encouragement button. If somebody coming and discourage me, even I'm discouraging my own, I discourage like this, ash, like a sneeze. Distance is gone. Wonderful. Wonderful, sir. So we have 15 minutes to go. And I also want to make sure that a lot of people who are on this call get the opportunity to ask you questions as well. So I'm going to ask you one last question before we go into the audience questions. So my question, last question for you, sir, is um, a lot of social entrepreneurs are very passionate about their idea and they don't want to commercialize it. Right. But at the same time, you also want to make sure that whatever your idea is, whatever business or social uh, venture you have built should also be self-sufficient. It should generate enough funds for you to sustain it and to uh, innovate also. So how do you strike that balance without selling your company to an HUL or a PNG? How do you make sure and how do you balance the fact that you continue to innovate, you continue to stay true to your purpose, but you also make it self-sustaining? So actually, there are two types of talking on webinar or meeting. Uh, for my name's sake, no, this word like that, it, uh, a few word answer. But I try to give an elaborate answer. Shall I do that? Sure, sure, it sir. It will please. take time. So now you ask how you manage, you know, these things. Uh, you again pinpoint the question, no? again, the question. So basically, taking your social venture and staying true to the purpose. Okay, oh, fine. Okay, so social entrepreneurship. Yeah. Yeah. We are the very first company across the globe to mark as social entrepreneurship. Because this is the toughest subject to handle on Daya or even in institute everywhere. Because many people, they are confused with philanthropy and social entrepreneurship. Luckily, even while you are asking the question, you talked about self-sufficiency and social entrepreneurship. You are the first person you talked about. Rest of all, they will talk about only social entrepreneurs. Not everyone they are talking, you know, I'm a mother, Teresa, a yeah, male mother, Teresa, like that. Then I said, see, I met Bill Gates in Seattle. Even after meeting Bill Gates, I never took a single dollar as a donation. Then doing something, changing the world, taking money from other pocket is very easy. Anyone can do it. Here I am running a company called Jayasri Industries. It is not by any venture capitalist or nothing. It is my own money or our money, but no, it is a zero debt company. It is running on 20th year. This word, surviving on your own, sustaining it, and trying to do some social change, that too measurable. You know, it is not claimed by us. Anyone can, you can measure, you can scale it also. Now I am thinking to make as a corporate in a different kind of corporate custom in the world. So this one, you know, the social entrepreneurship is very, very tough because nowadays, you know, in the pandemic area, before pandemic, even people are, you know, now the term called, you know, uh, latest startup. Everybody, you know, entrepreneur, those who are seeking you for hundreds of years, startup is happening. Only the names will, the name change game will happen. Startup, all the finances become venture capitalists. You know, who, who are my friends? They are giving for highest interest. They have changed the visiting card, financier into venture capitalist, angel capitalist. I said, oh my God, you bewar the alien is financier. Now he, only he changed the visiting card, maybe you ask the interest rate. So this way, you know, it's a change of word. The, on the, even people, those who are looking for cutthroat entrepreneurship, only they are doing it for profit. They are unable to survive more than a decade, not even five years. Before 10 years, they are going away from core, what the fund they got for core idea. They are shifting from idea, from the core idea. They are entering into other domain. They are buying the other company. I'm seeing everything. What is happening? I love everything. So why the people have funded you, what you are doing now, why you are buying the horse, you are buying the pig, you are buying the cat, everything available in the world. Not for that, that to make the idea into big and big. Here, you know, without a big limited of the company, I made the cost what I focus to solve the problem. The cost into bigger and bigger, bigger, I am become smaller and smaller. Because I 100% aware, I should not be. If I big, I become a Melinda Gates Foundation. I want to make this cast. Now, everyone on the Google, they will know there is a problem on managing menstrual hygiene practice in India. This is the guy he addressed. This is the way he's addressing. So this is the way I'm not you know, preaching how to manage that menstrual hygiene practice. Or the moment the younger generation are your mind, it is like refreshing your mind away from your computer and, you know, all memory, this, you know, data bank, everything. 
something he tried on mental hygiene domain what he applied so you can apply what you are thinking the new idea maybe it become a hunch so it is not like it like a ball i'm throwing on that ball it will bounce back it hit here it there so this is called mind it's not like straight forward that's what i love you show your road map what is not a google map no there is vast difference between a google map and road map uh, even i'm talking on google map i i thought many younger generation the moment they start the entrepreneurship they are trying for a google map they are find they are searching for success and the shortest route you cannot find a google map for your entrepreneurship success the map don't show many many places talk google map they will show the shortest route they won't show shortest route for success so this what you know social entrepreneurship you should you know you should conceive it there should be a meaning first of all you should seek instead of opportunity you should interest on looking for a problem if you are a guy you are interested to look problem instead of looking an opportunity you are very well matched for doing social entrepreneurship for a guy or you are a team looking for an opportunity don't enter into social entrepreneurship we are looking for problem those who are looking for problem they are finding out a solution on engineering or chemical or you know coding everything any way you are giving a solution to the problem exist for centuries you are build around an idea and a company around it very well you can call as this the fundamental i'm giving even in harvard perfect so thank you very much oh, which is beginning to have some questions on the chat as well so i would encourage more people to also post their questions uh the first question that we have sir for you is where do you want to take your social entrepreneurship journey next what is the way forward for you i begged with nasa and isro if there is mars i may do it in mars too <laughs> mars plan i'm saying so i'm just talking but we are on across india and 27 other countries we put sure. uh, the, the like a open source code mm. i put that engineering innovation you know the drawing thing everything on a open software like on a public domain anyone can access mm-hmm. so inspired people are calling me i put all idea like open but there right. are a lot of copy cats they don't want to copy as it is what i put on the public domain instead of blue paint what i put on the public domain they make it in green if mm-hmm. it is sharp edges on the edge they make it into curve then they will mm-hmm. climb myself there on the innovator i know then later slowly muruga is our inspiration we are really so this will happen even something you are trying to do good for society these are all for you also to like it will change slowly if you are there in the domain successfully for 5 years 10 years 15 you can enjoy the changes you know from the day one what who are they told this is the guy never stand for even a year what is going to the small equipment how is going to compete with american and europe companies many time you are unable to debate with your seniors ceo wife mother father in law mother in law so the practical success about your idea the world will set its mouth that's what i think slowly yeah. i'm setting their mouth setting their mouth because so i get this plan so you are you are in the kitchen what you are doing oh my god you are doing like this survey moment the first take put in mouth oh my god do it cook well that's what okay Um, I have, so, why we have some more questions coming up on the group as well? Um, I want to ask you that you have seen in the course of your uh, entrepreneurial journey, you've seen and met a lot of CEOs, you've seen a lot of companies what they're doing. So, what do you think is the opportunity for tech companies like, let's say, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple? You know, how can what can we do more to support solving some of the big problems of India? there are lots of people who are google who are working every day to solve for some of the big challenges but what do you think is where we could make a big contribution and which of the sectors where you feel that more innovation is required today so even i you can talk with the pichai sir what i'm talking so you are google as i saw even you know many people seeing google in a different way you know the connectivity you know search engine but i am saying google in a different way you are the only company you can completely make ulta the world into different so many areas what i am talking maybe you will get stopped so that potential i found google where you can stand 
especially you know now what happened the world because nobody ever thought what is happening today in the world traveling held up hospitals held up everything held up how you are going to run so this what i am having from the day one i never centralized anything from the day one i decentralized 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 that's what we never affect on the pandemic you know the point so in uh, normal days you are do you are thriving you are achieved this that there is a problem there is a war there is a natural calamity in spite you are overcoming and you are sustaining you are building around you are growing where you are you can see your you know your strength and your knowledge so by that so the google can transform the world or the google can help the speed of the transforming the world people like us you know what i so now my problem is i need to present physically in the deep packet area of the village but now you can't so because i cannot make my staff also taking risk or my volunteer to travel that area across so many states that's what whenever people are asking about the digital screen of people few people they will talk oh my god people are now stick with screens you know you cannot grow an onion on screen you cannot cultivate paddy you cannot grow a coat i love my god is not talking anti green no i am calling this as a digital trumpet for me, from the day one digital trumpet earlier you know to send message there is a trumpet technology for every half kilometer there is a trumpet on the wall with a man on the tree they will trumpet another man here they will trumpet the message will reach to the deep packet of the jungle of omega so like that now today i want to communicate something to the deep packet of jammu in baramulla or in northeast in arunachal pradesh i no need to travel myself or my volunteer or my team i can very well i can communicate what i am thinking to the nearest point of the jammu or arunachal pradesh to the electronic media from there it can go as well now what i am asking from google even that n part also we can cut it by connecting them also with your balloon or something so i can train virtually i can communicate virtually to make the transform i'm not talking about mensalizing we can do anything if there is a, a affordable gadgets redundancy um, i don't know i am sorry to use your word redundancy you know affordable and a beautiful connectivity so if if possible you provide even for example you provide for under village i will give uh, google did this i will give under person credit to you because it is impossible to travel to travel and meet that 50 or 30 women we have to take risk of our life we spend lakhs of rupees by that you know only through the nearest volunteer just send the card get and leave it then we will connect virtually so this what idea so you will understand what i am talking so i am only i am talking about menstruation we can lot we can do so sure. we can create you know sustainable food we can train everything so it's not for recreation so the same i can show this this is a fun type so this way you can tie so this is what i am looking for you know educating you know, uh, no remote education in a deep part that the area which i am talking nobody ever saw that it is not end up as a suburb you can think amazon the same india is not built by 20 or 100 cities india is built by 600000 villages i am asking uh, help like you know that uh, ultra modern companies google to enter into the deep packet india deep packet kenya and no i'm not sticking with india even uh, the big company can help in kenya in uganda in nairobi anywhere where because we try to empower jarvas in nicobar island cannibals with nude bodies still they are living i tried i took the mission i reached there in nicobar island on a particular day supreme court of india is giving a judgment no one can interrupt jarva life no one can cross the line they put a line then i set up the mission in andaman even today google is helping we can train world first cannibals can train on menstrual hygiene through google in nicobar this way Perfect, sir. I think we have just three minutes to go, so I'll just put my last question to you, which one of our audience members has shared, which is that besides menstrual health, where you've made a lot of uh, strides, is there any other problem statement that you're thinking about? Any other big challenge that you have seen, which you would like to dedicate your personal energy to as well? And this is what I'm again I'm saying. 
even my lifetime will not sufficient to address this problem because many person you know they are um, become proficient in one area then the world well look as a master of all subjects because many time even in abroad they will talk about what do you think about the next tenants in the stock market of india then i love i am not a financial guy i am not a fund manager i will open it and i will simply cut out but many people they try to answer i is think now it is 29398 point the volatility is maybe i know little bit with that i cannot make you know like i cannot claim a proficiency i will say i don't sure. know even i know subject 99.9 one percent yeah. less i will say i don't know this is the simplest secret of murga growing every minute every time i say humbly i don't know that thing. so that's what even to add, because there are 200 countries now i am getting teams from german america even there is a lag of mentalization even in berlin in tokyo that the ambassador of india is coming and meeting me in a small house in pambatur they are inviting me like that so this is is a huge so like that you know there are so sure. only i'm thinking yeah. finishing transition please don't try to use your education to make your life as a cake walk yeah. don't look for the look for a problem and address the problem and be a solution provider with your knowledge with your so be a solution provider not try to become a, a simple you no know, survivor so education not to survive to achieve to transform the world every good employee there is an ability to change the world that, that's what i agree to speak in google try to be a change maker every google employee become a change maker then just then we don't think about google think about the world that's what thank you so very inspirational words and heartfelt thank you from all of us at google for sharing your experience or expertise today and uh, i think to be personally what you said towards the end about focusing on one problem there's just no need to be a hundred things but if you can choose to become an expert in one thing then that is also can be life transforming thank you very much for being with us here today and a huge thanks also to the docs at google bangalore team suresh gupta and dipti dayal who helped make this talk happen so thank you very much uh, for inviting mr muraganathan uh, to speak to us and uh, i hope you got a lot from the session i certainly did so once again thank you sir and uh, all the very best from us in terms of everything that you do thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. have a good afternoon